Simmer Down. Quit stirring that pot. Hi guys, this is Simmer Down, aka Selena, and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Um, today we are renovating the chic apartment, I believe it is. I'll leave it in the description of uh, exactly which apartment it is. And also, I will be uploading this, or I have uploaded this to the gallery, so if you would like, you can get it there. Yeah, so about this build. Um, I was going for a girly musician. Um, I say girly because it ends up very girl-friendly. Girl-friendly, um... Yeah, girl friendly. And I wanted to say that it was um boy friendly, but after watching it back several times now, um I kind of did add a lot of girl items such as girl perfumes and things like that. So if you want to switch those things out, you totally can. Um yeah, so the base of this build was these paintings right here. Um, I wanted to use them in a space where uh, it would be for a musician and I wanted to use pinks and purples and I just wanted it to be very uh, pink and purple. I don't know. Um, I, I wanted to use the colors from the painting and base the entire build on these paintings and I finally did it. I've been wanting to do it for so long. Actually from I think all the way from like 2015 I've been wanting to do this and I finally took the time to do it. I felt like I had all the necessities to finally get it done the way I wanted it to look and I think it turned out amazing. I think it turned out great. Um, I'm adding a little sliver of wall here. Um, I call it a sliver of wall because it's just kind of a small separation between the spaces which I feel it kind of needed. Um, I feel like every studio kind of apartment needs a bit of separation just to separate the space between um, living and sleeping. I don't know. I just feel like that. And I added a couple more music inclined paintings to the wall here. I thought that that would work. I put a piano in there because I thought musician played the piano and uh, also sings. Um, so that is what I added. I didn't add any other music um, items such as guitar or anything like that. Because I just feel like this musician plays the piano and um, sings. And we don't really have saxophones. Otherwise I would totally have done the saxophone. Because I don't know. I just feel like they're jazzy. Like this is like a very jazz kind of um, build. Like jazz inspired. I don't know. But I'm making a little um, eating area here just adding a little table and some chairs I later on add like a divider to that space also just to separate it a little bit from the kitchen and whatnot but you'll see that eventually um now I'm focusing on like a little dressing area I guess uh and I really like what I did with the mirrors um kind of covering the um, window here because I just there is a lot of windows in this apartment a lot of windows and not a lot of wall space so I thought that the mirrors wouldn't close anything off because they're very reflective and I don't know I just feel like it worked and made the space look really really cool actually I think it looks pretty cool um, you'll see right here I'm gonna put up the mirrors 
and I made it look very seamless so it looks like one full mirror and then I also replicated it on the other wall so that they would kind of reflect back and forth on each other and then I'm adding these over the bed like shelving area because I feel like there is not a place for them to keep any of their household items or anything because the space is just very open. So I feel like they would use those for toiletries and whatever whatnot that you know they could put up their towels. Um, obviously their clothes are going to go in their drawers and whatnot but you know just added things that they need, might need could go in the upper uh, shelving area which I felt was kind of needed um, what else so I kind of go back and change the room up quite a bit in the end on the end of the video um, but as of right now I, I, it's like kind of got a little bit of a blue theme but I go back and change that out um, that painting and that wall really go together though. I, I might, might, might I say, I guess, um, that the, the, the painting behind the bed and the color of the paint on the wall, those really mesh very well with each other. Um, I might add, but I do go and change the, that painting out. I think it just take it off, um, shortly, but yeah, I'm loving this space. Um, oh, and I want to give a shout out to Kit Kat. Um, Kit Kat, thank you so much for your inspiration, um, your inspirational uh, comments and all of that. I really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you because you kind of pushed me out of my space that I was in like not really wanting to film and you kind of pushed me to film so I want to thank you for that because I don't know I get kind of down on my channel sometimes when I notice that my views are not what I want them to be uh, because this is kind of like my outlet like I've mentioned before in videos that I am so here's the divider I just want to throw in that I put the dividers up. I divided the um, bedroom a little bit more from the living space and then the kitchen area from the living space also. Just a little bit more than it was. So yeah. But back to um, my situation. So I've mentioned several times that I'm disabled. Um, my house is not wheelchair accessible. So I can't leave whenever I want to and be out in the world. So like this channel is kind of my outlet kind of deal. Like it makes me feel like I'm doing something like that I'm in the world living like everyone else. Even though I'm not, I'm kind of still stuck, you know, with these four walls. Uh, but... I feel like I'm, it makes me feel like I'm doing something, um, you know, and so I appreciate and I'm so, so thankful for you guys that watch my videos. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys. Um, and yeah, special shout out to Kit Kat for inspiring me to get off my butt and make some things happen. But yeah, back to this build. Um. I'm just kind of going and adding in some clutter here. I know that I add um, a little bit more clutter after I finished filming, which I don't know why I went and added more without recording it, but I did just a little bit. Um, I know I added one piece of mail right here, but I go and add several more pieces of mail because I kind of had it in my head that the, that the person that lives here is a struggling musician and that they 
are really past due on several bills. So I wanted to leave like, you know, the bills piled up by the, on the kitchen counter, right? As you like come in, she just kind of sets them there and just forgets them, doesn't even worry about it because she doesn't have the money to pay it. So she's like, set it and forget it um, kind of situation. Um, so I did go with blue for the bathroom here because I thought that I was going to leave the blue out in the bedroom area, but I do go back and change that. But I did end up just leaving the bathroom the way it is. I felt like it kind of added a little bit of masculinity to the room that I thought it kind of needed with all of the pink and purple out in the kitchen and living spaces. I just figured it kind of needed a little bit of masculinity, just a little bit. So I ended up leaving the bathroom the way it was. And I think it works. I think it uh, totally meshes well with the room. And, you know, if you want to change that aspect to be purple-ish, go right ahead and do that. Um, you know, if there's anything in a build that you don't like, you can change, you know, if you like the overall aspect of a build, go ahead and download it and then, you know, change the little bits and bobs that you would like different. That's what I always do. Um, so yeah, I am loving this build. I don't know. I just feel like it's so fun. Like it's, it's so girly. I don't know. I'm just, I guess I'm just girly. Um, so I just add, you know, just adding in, uh, more, col uh, clutter. I can't speak at all. I'm just adding in a ton, ton, ton of clutter, flower, plants, flowers, plants, um, lighting. I definitely, oh, so in the finished that's one thing that I do remember that I did add to the space that I thought was worth like mentioning in case you don't end up downloading it or whatever and you thought it was cool but you only saw it in the thumbnail or something. I add that like martini glass lamp and I never used it. I, I've never really seen it. In lighting, I don't know how I've never seen the martini glass lamp, but I love it. And I add it over by the um, bedroom living space divider kind of situation over there. I added it in there and I just think it's so cute. Um, I think this is where I go back and I changed everything to black. So yeah, this is coming to an end pretty soon. I'm just going to come in and add a little bit of lighting, all the lighting situations right now. And I think that's it. Here we are at the end. So I thank you guys for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next part of whatever I make. Bye guys. Really quick before I leave, I wanted to let you know that this will be under rooms um not lots it'll be under rooms because that's the way you have to upload it so the gallery it'll be under rooms